gay men's passions, AMA fashions, and a university thrashing. Coming up today on The Point. Hello and welcome to The Point, the only talk show bringing gay and straight men together to see what happens. And back with us is podcaster Leah Abrahams. Hey! <laughs> Great pronunciation. <laughs> and back with, I haven't seen you in a while, actor Jamal Witter. Hello, hello, hello. I hello, missed you hello. guys. Oh. I missed you. What have you been up to? You know what? Just working on a few uh, independent short films and oh, yeah. that, that's about it. So. Yeah. Okay, well, when when they're up and ready, let us know. I yeah, will, plug, I promise. Plug cool. Plug I gotcha. Stuff. Cool. Yes. We're all about plugging stuff. <laughs> Which brings us to talking point number one, Not that right. muscles and money. Mm. Okay, so. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so we know where you stand. Okay. This guy doesn't look like he has money. So this guy here, but he has muscles. Okay, yep. so this, this is a study that was published in the journal Feminist Media Studies. Researchers in the, in the UK uh, uh, analyzed posts and interactions on Tube Crush. What is tube that? Crush. What the hell is that? Okay. It's, it's like a, tube like the subway? Like, yes, oh, like no, the no, subway. No, no, no. Not, okay. not that kind of tube. <laughs> yeah. uh, a website where people post unsolicited oh, pictures of men seen on the London Underground. Oh, great. Um, the study found that um, uh, men, uh, gay men and women um, were uh, most attracted to muscles and men who looked like they had money. Also, white men <laughs> groundbreaking were, study. were yeah. far more popular with users. New news. With users. Uh, white men were far more popular, uh, despite London being an ethnically diverse city. Um, and that uh, these attributes in a man that were seen as most attractive were largely unchanged from decades ago. Um, and the, uh, the, the, the people behind the study say this illustrates the ongoing power of white male privilege. So, so other than that point, it's like hot guys are hot is what they came up with. Well, like, but what defines hot? I mean, well, if this, random people are posting them, it doesn't... Before we do that, opinions about this. So this person doesn't know their picture was taken? Yeah, I was just going to ask that. That's yeah. clearly actually, so, He's clearly aware. I'm sorry, I was going to say, he's, he's posing for sure, right? Yeah. So, well, like, if you accidentally no, said like no. that, I'm like, well, okay, actually girl. wore that outfit for this photo. But again, we're getting into dangerous okay? territory of yeah. asking for it. I also so. thought we were going to talk no, about man spreading. I think spreading. I like that all the time. Well, uh, there, there is an interesting undercurrent here about this website, Tube Crush, which is, these are unsolicited pictures of men. I've seen there's like an Instagram account of like it's called Hot Men Reading. There's and it's yeah, just, there's Montreal, yeah. uh, Metro Montreal, or Montreal Boys, or something like that. Yeah, well, you know all about STM it. Boys. You or know all like about that. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and it's all right. It's all right. You know. And, and so <laughs> is this? I mean, if I mean, there's this separate issue of if men were posting unsolicited photos of women, would we have a bigger issue Definitely. with that? Uh, we would, yeah. of course, yeah. of course, yeah. for you sure. You have an issue, this is not an issue. You would have an issue. Yeah, I, and I feel like they probably do. Yeah, like, we just happen to be talking about this happen. one. I, yeah. I'm sure like that there's, there's lots of pictures on the yeah. internet that are not It's called porn. Planned. Or not even just <laughs> well, porn, but no, just yeah. like... It's, you know. it's just like taking a video or a picture of a crazy person on a bus. It's like you're still well, they're crazy. They're kind of sort of asking for annoying. it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. I don't now think we're, okay. Now area. we're getting into issues of mental health. But okay. So let's get back to the original. Um, do we put too much emphasis? And this is specifically to the gay men and, and the woman. Um, do we put um, the woman? That well, is me. The real woman. Um, and <laughs> we can join up. Why did you point at me? <laughs> and why am I not the real woman? <laughs> no, you are the real okay. woman. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're yeah. saying. So he, do we, he's do not. We put, oh, okay. Yeah. Do we put too much emphasis on muscles and too much emphasis on people who look like they have money? I mean, anyone can look like no. they have money, and they're they don't. Yeah, that's so a tough know. thing to look like. The there's a look, there's a reason. There's a difference between like dressing like you have money and dressing because you have money. And I don't know right. how to tell the difference. Yeah. Like, if you yeah. both have Rolexes, and one of you just is fifteen thousand dollars in debt because they bought a Rolex, like I can't tell. Or an so from first you know glance, I mean? you'll be if you see somebody that I looks like, like they have who money, smells clean, looks like they take you're care attracted of themselves. To them. Is that the question? Wearing nice clothes, right? like as your definition yes. of nice clothes. But you can wear, you can look clean and nice and not look like you have money. 
Yeah, but I'm saying to, for me, it's important that, that kind of is a priority. And then if you don't have money, then I don't know. What and you, isn't you can figure out how to make money, but if you can figure out how to look nice. And well, isn't I can't you can still look hot with like I'm, holes all over your clothes. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with a uh, hole. Wait, 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 I'm okay with that. Trying. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did you say? I said, I'm okay with a homely looking man, mm -hmm. a man who looks like he don't got it, yeah. but who has it. I'm cool with that. <gasps> Those are my favorite, the ones it. that don't know they're hot. What's up? That's, <laughs> that's always the guy with yeah, the gold mine. Yeah, the money, so well, what the if, question is, does money make you hot? Nah, not really. It, but, uh, well, I think the follow-up well, question yeah, is, does money you make you hot, hot, and to who... Like, do you want to be? Do you want those people to it's be attracted funny that we to should you? Say the people who my... are only attracted to people with money. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's it depends on. I think there's also the whole thing of like, what are you looking for? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, are you looking for a genuine connection? Or are you looking for somebody that sugar just daddy. you know? Yeah, so he can want. take care of yeah. well, yeah. you. Let's rephrase sugar daddy. We can say stability. Right? Wait, wait, wait. Stability and you know, somebody to make you feel comfortable, mm -hmm. right? That's another way of, gold digger, that's the extreme, but to <laughs> feel, you know, comfort from somebody with money, that's a typical thing, and well, I think that's I a natural Well, because that's not wanting them to, to, to if, support you, that's more of like a, wanted, I want to make sure that I'm not going to end up having to support them kind there of There you go. Thing. Okay, yes, but that's I, I will say, I tend to like guys who are not muscular. I tend to like thinner guys and smaller guys, and <laughs> Every time I will point someone out who's smaller, thinner. Don't we call those twinks? Is that I'm trying well, to not learn? Just, is that yeah? Not just twinks. But, Tito's like twinks yeah. are twunks like me. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I get pushback from other people, what? pretty ripped from other guys who are like, mean? no, you don't think he's hot. No, he's not hot. Oh my god, I get that all the time, and it's so annoying. Just because I like a person who likes food more than the gym, it's like cry. Everybody's attracted to who they're, like it's an individual thing, it's flavor, it's, well, but you know the, what I mean? Like, yeah, but you wouldn't say no to somebody who's muscle. That's no, the thing, no, like no, you no, prefer no. wine, they have, but they have, was, they have data yeah, because that just thousands means that they're, of likes and thousands of It just of means that they're healthy. If you're muscular the same and thing. you look good, it take care of your body, right? And naturally that's uh, but you can something over, we're supposed to be I like to believe I'm healthy. But you can overdo the muscles because there are the guys on steroids who I know that other guys uh, yeah, they have a ball problem, but they're they're the guys who take too, the muscles yeah. too far But I know other guys who are like, oh my god, he's so hot. He's so hot. He's so hot He's the hottest thing here. And it's like, but it's all steroids and it's all <laughs> I was just fake. having this conversation with someone who someone told him that you know You you have all these thingies, but like you need the you know, what's what is it? Um, arms abs and an ass so the three A's uh, and I'm just like oh, if wow. someone told me that I, I need know, to work ass was so big well, for gay men, well, some, 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 asses some, are big. some people, their asses are that big. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> huge deal. It's a huge deal. A huge ass well, is a huge it's deal. For, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like big booties, big anything. Okay, you know what, what are we talking about? Huge ass, like not outwards, but like bubble, like a bubble like, a, like a one that looks like it can squat like a, a cherry. Lot. Okay. That, like, that the one. definition right. of a pretty ass is not the point. But the point is someone told him that, oh, if only you work on so-and-so oh. things that contribute oh, nothing to who you are as a person, you would be worthy of dating. And if someone told me that, I'd be like, wow. If you could just work on like your manners and not well, giving me your but, unsolicited opinion about my body, well, I would totally thing. date you too. Um, this there was a survey done by um, uh, Attitude Magazine. This is also in the UK. Almost three quarters of the gay community have been turned off by feminine men, and by feminine men, it's non-muscular uh, okay. men with Beta. with voices like mine. I, 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 and I just <laughs> I have a real issue with that because there are like not everyone is. Big and bulky, and and I and I don't think we should yeah. have that as as the standard and what we all strive to, because some people are just not I just, muscular. I people. don't. I think that all of these things, all of these polls, are all bullshit. Frankly, would you I date mean, a girl that has like a super hoarse voice before you get all high and mighty about us? I I, I have dated Man, women with I say, very sure I I have strange well, voices well, in the this, past, actually. This, but hey, Doug. Right, well, turkey. I, I, I am getting way, <laughs> way too aroused right now. Oh, I'm sorry. No, hey, I'm, what, my, what I'm thinking though is that like people are into whatever they're into, and polls are just like things to. I guess I shouldn't undercut the show, but I mean it's just a thing for like people to talk about in like a context like this. But they don't mean anything in reality. But I do. You know I what I mean? There do. is I no do. I think they do. They do. I think muscle, muscles and money, muscles, muscles and money really do mean they're something. Symbols. Probably they're in the gay right. community, they're... but definitely to now, women. No, it do, does. It, do do you two, as the straight guys here, do you two adhere to traditional? Um, uh, what what is considered female beauty, for women. right? Mm -hmm. 
I mean, d do you ever find a woman attractive and you know that your buddies are going to be like, really? Yeah, yeah, that does happen sometimes. And I guess there's a term that one of my friends used, which is a moped. And he says, it's fun to ride until your friends find out, right? <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny, uh, but I have come across that a couple of times. You know, I would That's think, hey, you know, she, she's hot, and it's like, wait, but would my friends agree with me? Yeah, but or, is she my or, or are you, you know? finding her hot because you got to know her personality and it seemed to be charming and you liked it and that turned her See, into more of a good looking person? That's, that's, I believe that's what it was. Is that what yes, it was? I, I, I believe it's that's her, what it so was. So it was her personality that intersected. Triggered it me and said, hey, you know yeah, what? Yeah, it got into yeah. the, to the looks the category. Yes. So that happens. That uh, no, happens. absolutely. Um, but speaking of people who are sexy or not, me? People Magazine. Oh. Thought it was um, to me. What? I wish it was about you. I was getting ready too. I wish it was about you, to be honest. I was, I was like, uh, Blake oh Sheldon. God. It would make more I want to like sit it would make more around sense. for this entire segment and be like in protest. Just sexily, sit like this. sexily, sexiest man alive. So Blake Shelton is not ugly, but he is definitely not the sexiest man alive. I was I saying think somebody before, at yeah. uh, People Magazine. He has. Some type of family member that works there. Because how else? I actually, who else would give him that? I, but also, I don't think relevant. this has to do with looks. Clearly, like well, what? No, no, no. It's People you know, magazine. It's about his like agree? opinions out Here, about you know ISIS. Here's, here's my here's my question about Blake Shelton. Number one, has Gwen Stefani sexiness kind of rubbed in in the celebrity him? world rubbed off on him? Leah's got a point about that. I do have a point about that. I don't get uh, that. Gwen Stefani, I don't think is the best example to use. I would like to use Beyonce and Jay Z. Okay, so Beyonce, um, we can, can actually consider her to be one of the best looking people in the world. Beyonce? I think we can yeah, all yeah, agree yeah. on yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Tread as Let me like. ask y'all a question. Yeah. When you found out that Jay Z was dating Beyonce, did that change your opinion on Jay Z in any way? Because for me, definitely. I changed my opinion on Beyonce's vision. That's, oh, you changed I, I, I am with Beyonce. you. I am, I am with you exactly. on that. I mean, like, I was what? with you on that. What? I was a little confused. Yeah. I was like, yeah. but no, they have a very mutually beneficial relationship, and he doesn't have to have a pretty face and big muscles to be attractive. To, okay. It led me but to look. Money. It led me to look. Yeah, but he has a lot of that. For of uh, attributes about Jay Z that I might have missed before. No. That's Huge it. Made cop. me look at him twice and think, what is it that uh, Beyonce can see that okay. I can't? I, I I looked at him twice and I thought, no, he's still not attractive. <laughs> um, I, I tried. I'm on this one, but, clearly. But, but Maybe she question. got to know him. My other question about Blake like Shelton half is, a billion this, dollar label. is this a reflection of Trump's America, where somebody who's oh, a country a artist, somebody who um, is sort so. of a good old boy. But People Magazine has from, never gone that way. But, but is, this a way, is this a way of kind of giving a nod to... No. No, because there's a lot of like that people I don't agree with about political views who represent all well, kinds of things about Trump country who are way hotter than Blake Shelton. Yeah. The you only way I mean? in my mind that this is related to Trump is sort of like they people says Blake Shelton sexiest man alive and we are all like wrong. Like that's, okay. that's really the only connection that I can see. <laughs> Hashtag <here>. sad. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't get it because He's People magazine news. always chooses is. somebody who's relevant at the time and he is not like does he have an well, album? On the voice. He's on the voice. He's been on the voice for so yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. And the voice is not now. very he okay. presented yeah. at the Canadian Country Music Association Awards in Saskatoon in September. Amazing. Well, that actually yeah. says a wow. lot. Uh, that he's know, really not relevant. If we're going to talk about who's exactly. sexy, thank and you for telling me that. that show, totally pump the if we're going to talk about who's sexy or not, uh, first of all, we should talk uh, to Tito. And second of all, let's look at pictures of people who are actually attractive. In Sorry, Tito's Mike. midpoint. Yes. yes. Finally. This week we're playing On Point, and it is fashion from the AMAs, which happened a couple weeks ago. But that's I, the American Music Awards, correct? I think everybody knows that. No, well. it's the Ask Me Anything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought for a second. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> Ask Me Anything. Okay. Anyway, first up, we have Selena Gomez. Always, um, always. Serving you some Sandy from Grease Realness yeah. with yeah. her cute oh, new do. She's got legs that's for days. Oh, I'm in love with And her. she knows how to use them. Yeah. She actually can't do much wrong. She does. She, she uses them, them to walk out of the weekend's well, life. I know that. Ooh. Just she saying. can't do much wrong. She's back with Justin Bieber. Yeah, so that is off point, but her just look is talking off. Guys, he's a born again just Christian. We should give him some credit. Oh, off point. He's a born again Christian. Who knows? Maybe life is That's great. That's worse. With them right. That definitely know. makes Next. someone a good person. Next, we have Kelly Clarkson wearing Christian Siriano. Oh, okay, good 
I, 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 I love the dress, and I think she looks I don't like really the lips. good. The extensions and, but I don't like off. the lipstick and the hair. The it's hair a little is, too. It seems um, too formal. 2005. For the AMAs, no, it's it? a little too um, the monsters for me. The, the monsters. Okay. The, the lipstick is the monsters. Yeah. The hair is very Paris Hilton 2003. I have not seen I her in a long time. Okay, but you can tell. I, I, feel, I feel like she, if yeah, she was yeah, more pale, you can she'd tell be the like, is it Morticia that's Adams wrong. from the Adams Morticia family? Morticia Adams. Yeah. That's yes, what I'm yes, seeing yes. right now. Morticia Adams yeah. for some but reason. I, I don't know why. Blonde. It, Blonde Morticia. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, Tito, Tito wants to come to her defense. Um, just like how the dress is made, like how going in, it like suits her body well. I will say nice dress. the dress is on point. Amazing it seems like it's, nice on her? It, it seems is. like okay. it's too I don't formal. actually love it, no. Not I like the dress it itself, no. It depends oh, like on that, dress. like, roll of duct tape she has in her. Okay, girl. anyway. No. Next we have the beautiful Haley Steinfeld. Wearing. Yes. No, what do we think of the wet much. look? The I don't wet know hair who she look. is, but wet, wet, wet and wavy always I'm a, gets I'm me. It's working this. here. It's working yeah. for her. Wet and wavy gets me all the time. Wet and wavy. Is, uh, so is love, it doing I it for you? Wavy. I love it. Woo. I occasionally love, love the wet look, but not in this context. She there you go. looks like she is strong. She just came out of the pool. I think that's the point. Well, it doesn't work. I think it works when you're wearing leather, like her top. I think it really does. I love the shoulders. Of I her love it. Jacket. It's dynasty realness. Ooh, I love dang. the eyeshadow. I love the honest. jacket fits like, like, like her that mom's you jacket that she her. borrowed at the <laughs> That's last what minute. You, you love her. All right. Why? It's Next, we have my uh, Demi Lovato. Oh, Demi. Gorgeous Demi Lovato. Okay, that's what enough. Wearing I would like to Abner. quote a friend who said that she looks like the celebrity version of a substitute teacher, and I think that is the most accurate thing I've I ever seen. I think she it. looks like Demi Moore here, actually. I was about to say yes. that just now. Like, yeah, she, she kind of yeah. has that going on. But that's yeah. not a bad thing, you know? I've had some very It's attractive... double Demi. She got a lot yeah. going on here. The curves, definitely double working. D. She okay, she needs to continue to right with now. them curves, and I, I think, think she, she needs will. to come back. If yeah, she was a substitute teacher, I would time. not report her. I'm telling you that right now. No, I, I would not. Attention. Definitely would not report her. By ever. the way, I might. I want to just say that you probably agree. The black community is in love with uh, my girl right here. Really? She, they love her. Mm -hmm. Okay. She can she accept it. She can come to the cookout. She's. Oh, she, she's I, I would bring invited. her. Wow. I would bring her for sure. Why? You're gonna bring her to the cookout? I would definitely. Probably her ass. Oh. Is it because she's woke? It's probably because she has an ass. <laughs> she oh? It, oh, okay. Well, she actually brought um, a transgender person as her date. Oh, Danica Rome. Yeah. She woke. She's woke. She well, woke? She's yes. Woke. Danica Rome, the, the I'm not first... woke, I don't know who she is. Mm -hmm. I'm not woke to her. No, she's woke for doing that. Yeah, Danica Rome, who uh, won a state legislative seat in Virginia mm. in the fall elections, the first transgender person to ever win a state legislative seat in yeah. the United a States. By running on the is. issues. Is awesome. By running on the issues <laughs> against a guy who Has promoted the anti-trans bathroom bill. Yeah. So Irony good for Danica oh, Rome. the woke point. Irony and good for Demi Lovato. All the okay. woke point. Mm. All right, ring the bell, let's move on. Hello, no, 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 this is great. See, see, yeah, this is good. I hate this, is... this look on Whoa, let's, let's See, this go is a wet hair it. look that looks good. No, this is a good wet this hair, is, yeah. buddy. Yeah, well, you get I get it. you. Why, because yeah. of the leather and because it's like slick, right? Yeah, but the, she doesn't look like is it it, The big thing with Haley oh, was that she looked like she had borrowed her mom's business jacket that was too big and didn't fit. And this, like, this is a whole. I hate thing it. Those it. boots That's are thing. way too long. Like, it's just like. First too of all, much. I, I love Sierra, but I want to know: is she going to be in the next Matrix movie? Because that's the outfit <laughs> yeah. I'm getting out of this. That'd be yeah. bad. Her legs. Hey her legs. Bad look. Look. Not. I'm just bad. Look. Her cut, legs look cut amazing. Thighs. Her cut thighs. I'm just man. concerned about like the thinness of those heels. That are like, is that <laughs> an, uh, is that extra I thin? I don't like in, the like, boots. Terms, like the, the how slender the heel is. Zaid, you're extra. I don't like the next. all snake skin. It's just too much. Next. We have Ashley Simpson wearing Christian Siriano. First as of well. all, where who dug her up? Yeah, she's that's married to ask. Diana Ross's son. Yeah, still, that's her only relevant. Her grandson. Yeah. No. I don't like this one. Like, no. I like it. I've no. seen it. I feel He's like giving I've seen her a fair before. shot, and that's nice. She looks. Nice. I feel like I've seen it before. I'm a big off on it's this It's boring one. as hell. If I had it's seen boring. it before, she's I'd have beautiful. nightmares about it. So I know I haven't Damn. seen it before. I guess I need skin. I think she looks stunning. No. It's a sparkly, no. form-fitting dress. Sorry. Congratulations. No, it's Tito, it's you're wrong. It's Actually, enough. I know what the next one is because you showed me. And you know how people say Beyonce is the queen? This woman, I'm sorry, this woman Diana is the queen. Ross. And she proves hey! it here. Oh my God. Diana Ross is the real queen. This yeah, is... she's killing it. I love this. This is fantastic. I'm not familiar with the I, thing I'm seeing. I have no words. Yeah, it's it's it, really. she, <laughs> it's like I'm a little lost, head. to be honest. I know. 
Well, you know what? T to be honest, for now, in second glance, I thought that was her hair flowing in the wind. No, it's that's a bird nest. Kate. <laughs> she, yes, she's What's a peacock that? right now. I thought it was like it's a, a headdress. Whole point of this. It's a headdress. She's sure. still fabulous. Doesn't matter. She's fabulous. Doesn't matter. Doesn't she can do without it. Diana Ross can do no wrong, and her daughter she is on Blackish. Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah, Ross. Yes. Yes. No. She Tracy Ellis Ross did the awards. Feel like we're not clear on what we're judging here. We all have different metrics. No, it was a family affair. Yeah. At the end of the award no. show, she performed and her entire family was brought up Fabulous. on stage. I love it. Cute. Thank you, Tito. And thank you, yeah. Diana, for today's Midpoint. Mm. And that brings us to talking point number two, they debate. Okay, so this... Still, again, haven't we done this? Like they, the they first debate. half of they season keep, one was they, devoted entirely They keep to debating. Okay, so at Wil <laughs> Wilfrid Laurier <laughs> University, which is in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Oh, this was bullshit. Uh, okay. Sorry, I feel very passionately about this. Let I do. him finish, <laughs> let him finish. So a TA, a teaching assistant, her name is Lindsay Shepard. Mm -hmm. She was uh, teaching a communications class. And to dissect this from a communications perspective, also it's a relevant topic, she showed a public broadcasting debate that included a University of Toronto professor named Jordan Peterson. Okay, Jordan Peterson has made a lot of people angry because he refuses to use gender neutral pronouns in his classroom and is actually campaigning against it. We've spoken about him on yeah, the show. Yeah, I, 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 he's a dork. But, I, I shouldn't say that, but, We'll cut that it's in post. Said, well, okay. We won't. Um, <laughs> um, but so she um, showed the debate in class. Okay. Someone, a student, at least one student, complained that showing the debate in class was akin to sexual violence. Nope. Please explain more. And, yeah. and went against the university's uh, anti-discrimination policy as it relates to transgender students. So then this TA was called to the carpet in the administrator's offices. I love that phrase, by the way. What? I've never heard that used before. Called, called to, to the, the carpet. carpet. Called to the carpet. I love it. Um, I feel like it's a I'll great thing. Yeah. I want to be called and, to the carpet. And, mm. But what Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Shepard did was she recorded the conversation. Uh, with these oh. administrators, Good. released that to the press. Of course, then the story blew up and the university ended up apologizing, although some people are saying this is a half-hearted apology. Of course. The, the, the thing that gets me about this topic and why I wanted to talk about it is there seems to be this trend in universities to stop debate of controversial topics, mm. stop controversial speakers from coming to campuses, I don't know, when I went to university, the expectation was I was gonna be confronted by people who didn't know my point of view. And I would have to, I mean, I remember uh, meeting people. Uh, I went to university in Chicago, Northwestern, and I was coming from New York, and there were people who'd never met a, a Jewish person before. And so there was this sort of culture clash on that front. I had also evangelical people who told me I was going to hell for being Jewish. I'm not saying- For being Jewish? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Not for, not being, for being gay? gay? No. I, you right. that's, gay. That's like, Cause you got that double whammy. Yeah. Yeah. But the Christians will get asked no, you but here, in all ways. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and Doug, you reacted uh, very, very quickly to this. Um, it, 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 who was in the right? Who was in the wrong? Is anybody in the right? The students who complained are in the wrong. The university is in the wrong for reprimanding her. This is a situation where, A, a university is almost the only place in society where you need to talk openly and freely about things that make you uncomfortable, things that you don't agree with. The whole idea is it's the exchange of ideas. Mm -hmm. We just happen to have compartmentalized it now in a way that, oh, there's textbooks and courses and learning syllabi. But you know that was the sort of whole genesis of what a university is. This is somebody who's trying to have a discussion about the debate, uh, about the subject, yeah. and is not promoting hate, which I, I do believe that it can be a complex a issue and there. you can, say not have people who promote hate come yes. to your campus. Yes. However, having a discussion about both sides of an argument or trying to understand the reasoning behind something, it's like having a conversation and I'm not equating the, the plight of people who uh, are non-binary and, and want to be called Z or they or whatever with what the Jewish people went through during the Holocaust. But I think it's worth having a discussion to try to say like, well, why did the Nazis follow orders? 
matters? Why did the, you know what I mean? Like, it's worth looking at things that are uncomfortable, that are not saying that this is the right thing. And this is a situation where she's trying to present, here's somebody who does not believe that people should get to choose their pronoun. And why is this person saying that? She's not promoting that hate, but the discussion is the only way to get the ideas out there and to allow people to be comfortable in accepting and being more open to people in society. I have a response to that. So that's all great, but it's also like super relative because like the same rationale is just like, oh, we're just having a discussion. Milo Yamanamonopoulos or whatever his name is, is just here to discuss what he's researching or whatever. But that's very promotional of hate. And obviously his views are like really messed up. But at the same time, she didn't invite a speaker knowing that he will. She showed no, a clip she from was the internet. An example, and that's that. fine. And she's a TA. A, and she's a not debate, a professor. A debate she that was a debate. on public television. A it debate was that was on public broadcast. television. There were yeah. no tickets that were sold. There were nothing like that. And I, that's just. And I'm. I don't know if the person who did complain, if they chose to remain anonymous, because they're trans themselves they, or they're non-binary they, uh, themselves. Uh, but uh, I'm willing to bet that that person, either way, just like it's. Well, I'm not willing to bet anything about that person. Point is that action in itself <laughs> that was a good is an right. over. Yeah. Well, I don't, is an over. It's just an over at uh, like academicification or like just academic high well, speak. Lindsay Shepard, the yeah. TA, in subsequent interviews has said she doesn't know who complained. She doesn't know how many students complained. It could yeah. have been just one. It could have been more. She doesn't know. She has not been told. Yeah, but and I would for, also for people who who sorry to no 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 that's fine. But for people who like equate. Uh, like the use of certain language uh, to, to, to actual physical exists in the real world violence. I have a big no, issue No, there's with that verbal too. violence that and there's physical violence and they're different things. Well, 100%. Like you were being verbally, if, not saying this was, but if you were being verbally abusive or verbally violent, it's different. You'd be arrested for different things if you were to Also, I don't think you can't be verbally like violent. You can be verbally abusive, yes, but violence. No, like we, verbal violence language, is a thing. It shouldn't be a thing, though. We need to actually use words properly in society. That's something that we're losing a big. No, if someone comes, no, 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 no. no. To you're you're abuse? speaking Wait, from a point of privilege. If someone comes up to me and says a whole bunch of stuff, or comes up to Lance and says a whole bunch of stuff, that's verbal violence. I don't care. But like you're just being violent, and I and I could like you know, well, react in a way that I don't want to. Okay, so what do you say then? Because there were protests uh, on this campus on both sides of the issue. There were um, trans students on campus who were protesting saying this dehumanized them. And, and I understand, I'm going to what did point exactly? out, there is nobody gender non-binary on this panel. I acknowledge it and we accept that. Okay, that said, what there were, were they protesting? Like, they were protesting that, that the, the university apologized to her and basically took back the reprimand. Okay. Like, I... I feel like so, in okay, all of no, these, no, these discussions... That. Another thing, another thing in all of these discussions is that there is a lot of, like, heads or speakers or pundits or whatever, and there's never any trans people. And there's never, like, I think they are always absent from the conversation, and everybody's trying to form all these, like, political opinions or, pro like, these really, really intense, very academic, very exclusive opinions but, uh, okay. that exclude everyone because they're so academic. But, I, like, trans people need to... Uh, so anonymously or wrong? not, need to be listened to, and their opinion is the one that matters. So you're you... saying that uh, those those that are offended are not the right ones that should be offended? Like no, it's... I'm saying in this whole story, I don't know who the who's speaking for trans people here. There is go. it an ally that's trying too hard, or is it this girl, or is it the school that's going to bet the people who are working for the school are not all openly trans? You know what right. I mean? No, no, none of them are. Yeah. And this. Like a trans voice is absent from the story. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I think back again, and I do remember or when voice, yeah. um, there, were, there was this evangelical group on campus and they wanted to talk to me about Jesus or whatever. And I said I was Jewish. And they said, you're going to burn in hell. And it was, I was with a friend of mine who was also Jewish. And we both kind of said, well, we'll pack our summer clothes. And then warmer we, climates are better. Yeah. <laughs> I, we, we just walked away. We came to Canada. And, but but the, the, thing is, the yes. thing is that being confronted with people who felt this way actually reinforced me in my identity and made me a stronger person for it and made me more able to deal with that kind of anti-Semitism in the real world. That's and because it stopped at the right point to allow you to become, to make it an experience that you yes. can grow from. Some yeah, people, this is an experience that you no, can some grow from. Some people keeps going. Yeah, you can definitely grow from this thing. And that's, right. that's and an important thing. And you can be a weird thing. person who could actually take those harmful words and, and actually accept them And there themselves. are yeah. harmful and feel, words. You know, um, yeah, and feel shame for who they are, right? Like, you're a strong person. So that's great that they, you took that away from it. But 
a lot of people would actually find that to be very harmful mm -hmm. to their soul and who they believe they are. So, but, yeah. But this is a, a very mild case of this situation. Yeah. This is not the worst they're going to experience, no, unfortunately. Not. I, like it is important for people to understand that not everything is always going to be equal and fair as much as we as a society are trying and I think doing a pretty good job of starting to push things in the right direction yeah. at least but they like they it, it's it's unfair wrong. but you can't not have conversations because you I don't agree. have a trans voice in the mix you can't not well have experiences because it makes you feel well, uncomfortable. Yeah, why not? Because why can't we have not conversations gonna, if a trans voice is always around? Because trans it's not going to like happen. The absence of these best. voices is the problem we're trying okay, to address. And I think, I think what we need to do, I think our next step yeah. is to uh, get somebody who can come on the panel in the future who is yeah. trans, who can talk about this issue. Yeah. Um, that Actually said, we need to move on. Tito, Bop of the Week. Bop of the Week this week is Steve Aoki featuring Lauren Haregi of Fifth Harmony and it's called All Night. And I know who those people are, so I know he's not making it up. <laughs> um, thank you, Jamal. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, of course, um, if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. Press the red button. It helps us greatly and costs you nothing. You can also check us out on Reverie, reverie.tv. We're there. A bunch of cool content, including original, co other original content is there. Mm -hmm. Uh, our crowdfunding site is on Patreon, patreon.com slash the point, point guys. If you like us, please support us. We're also on YouTube if you want to take us on the go and just listen to us in your iTunes. earbuds. iTunes. Mm -hmm. You said YouTube. Oh, iTunes. We're on iTunes. We are. And, and YouTube. We're, we're on all the, we're on all the, we're on all the tunes. We got so many tunes. Um, <laughs> And our website for all things The Point, thepointguys.net. You can also email us and tell us what you think about anything we talked about, thepointguys at gmail.com. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us. Of course, we have a new show every week. It comes out every Tuesday. So we will see, see you, you next, next Tuesday, Tuesday on The Point. <laughs>